Hello everyone, today I'm going to share the importance of insects and which insects are beneficial to different plants. Some of you might not love insects or even resent them. However, insects constitute the largest group among animals. And 90% of insects are not only harmless, but also play critical roles in the ecosystem. 80% of all plants are flowering plants and many vegetables and plants are pollinated by butterflies, beetles and mostly bees. It's estimated that the global value of insect pollination is around 1 to 3 billion Hong Kong dollars annually. Therefore, if insects didn't exist, the supply of fruits, vegetables, rice and wheat would be in serious shortage. Besides, insects are eaten by other animals and they hold up the food chain. Some of them, for example dung beetles, can break down the feces of animals. There are around 7,000 known species which clean up the forests in the world. Were they not exist, our planet would be covered in disgusting and smelly feces. The contributions of dung beetles for the farmers in the United States and United Kingdom are around $3,000 million per year and $2,800 million per year, respectively. We can see that it's an immense amount. Moreover, dung beetles can even combat global warming because when they tunnel into the feces, the air flows better and this can restrain the release of methane by the microorganisms. Since methane is a greenhouse gas, lowering the release of it can slow down the greenhouse effect. Wild bees also pollinate many plants, such as Osmia conuta, which is a wild bee. It has many furs on it, so it can pollinate apple trees well. There are different other kinds of bees to pollinate plants, not only honey bees. However, Paris regional estimates suggest that over 40% of wild bees and butterfly species are threatened. But pollinator dependence increases for 70% since 1961. How can we protect bees? Firstly, we can support small-scale sustainable agriculture businesses because industrial agriculture rely on huge fields and only few species of crops can be planted in a huge area that means the diversity of habitats is very low and is not beneficial to wildlife. Humans and birds and other mammals are endotherms, which means we can regulate our own temperature inside our bodies. Insects are ectotherms, which means they need to rely on their environment's temperature to regulate their own temperature. And global warming, as we know, is really an issue and uh, due to the human activities, the increase in temperature will cause a high risk of insects and other invertebrates and ectotherms, heart-related diseases. So, they may face uh, danger and it's important for us to change our lifestyles. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.